What's up, YouTube? The owner here. Back at it again with another Game Boy fix. But guess what, you guys? Just to set it up, I just saw Avengers Endgame. One of the top move Marvel movies of my life. Oh! Three hours is not enough. They should have made it five hours. Just pack it up even more. So, what I think I'm going to do today is I'm going to fix number four from the Craigslist games. This one has a tracer problem, and I think it doesn't turn on. We'll see. But I'm going to fix this, and I'm going to mod this and, and retrofit it to make it Marvel theme. So, I want you guys to stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys click the subscribe button down below to help support me and to catch any of my views. And click that notification button to get all my videos. Uh, also, check out the video that I just did on this one right here. I modded for the 30th Game Boy Anniversary, and I'm giving this one away. So, make sure you guys watch that video, like the video. If that video gets a certain amount of likes, I'll be sending one of you lucky viewers this Game Boy right here all right you guys let's go catch the video and then let's start all right you guys so i have here saying that the tracer for the game maybe doesn't work so i got some batteries here and uh let's check it out let's see what's going on with number four here sorry for the mess you guys All right, so it turns on. That's really good. There's one or two vertical lines. Oh, not really, there's no vertical lines. That's pretty good. No vertical lines. So, now he's gotta see if it plays a game. All right, so it's kind of reading. So, in order to fix this, so these tracers in here, these tracers in here are probably rusted over. And so, the trick to this, for anybody out there, Aiden for, so this is not a major fix, which is the best part. So what you do, you get some isopropyl, you get some alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and you kind of dab it in there, right? You dab it along the tracers. Don't put too much, you guys. And look, you can kind of see how dirty it is already. So I'm gonna repeat that about three times. Dab, 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 dab. Oh, don't forget to take the batteries out first. All right, take the batteries out. So dab, 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 dab it in there. Kind of just gently rub it across. Let the alcohol kind of naturally seep in there. And then the second thing you do is you're going to get a game, get some alcohol on these in the inside of it, nice and not too liberal but just enough, and you're gonna go like so about a hundred times, right? Because we gotta get that rust or corrosion out of there. So let's let's get the counter on. One hundred. All right, so that right there was a hundred. So, what you're gonna do next, you're gonna get another Q-tip, because there's probably now rust and stuff on the tracer. Look at that, little tiny dark stuff, so I just, you know, that's the tracer being cleaned. So, we're gonna give this a nice little... So, taking a bit, so it's not working. So, taking a bit closer look in there, uh, it looks like some of the pins aren't connecting perfectly. So, I'm probably gonna have to take it apart and then push the pins back up. So let's go give that a try. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take it apart. And I'm gonna need to take it apart anyways for the, for the mod. So let's take this thing apart. And I don't know if you guys caught my other video where I fixed the audio on this Game Boy right here actually. So it was, the speakers were fine, but there was no sound. So what was the cause? The cause was the audio jack. So the audio jack uh, was rusted over. It had kind of like a mechanism when the, when the mic headphones is in there and when it's not in there. And so what happened, it was just rusted over over time and it's right here located on the other side. So the green side, the brown side. And right here, this is the jack up in the top right here. Up in the top right here is a mechanism that kind of allows, to turns off the speaker. And so that was just kind of corroded over. So let's take a look at this thing. All right, so I got some threading needle. Right. Grab one. Don't poke yourself. Children have adult supervision, please. And 
children and adults have children supervision. So let's see if I can just clean whatever is in there. So there's stuff in there. It's quite gross. So I am going to continue to clean this stuff. And uh, by the time uh, I'm just going to fast forward to the ending because uh, this is going to take some time. Just clean off this nasty gunk. So you can see on this paper towel there is gunk in there. So don't drop your needles and stuff on me guys, just dropped it. So I'm going to continue to try and clean this thing. And well at the same time what I'm gonna do is you notice so there's two sets of pin. One that there's a there's a higher pin and a lower pin. What you can do is this so it alternates from high pin to low, high, low. If you guys get a closer look, um, what you can do is you can push on the pin. So the pin gets in contact with the game. So the metal on here contacts with the metal in here. See that? In order for it to contact, you're gonna have to make sure that the, the, the inner side in here, the inner side is not, not to uh, have any gunk on it or if it's protruding out, touching, pushing, the pin is pushing out inwards enough to make contact with it. So I'm pretty sure just this little tiny, this one right here in particular, the one I'm poking at, sorry about the view, you guys. The one I'm poking at, so I'm gonna do this to all of these actually. Push it enough, right? And both sides. So I'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit once I'm done with this cleaning and pushing of the pins out. And uh, yeah, hopefully it turns on by the time I'm done with this. Just gotta be patient, you guys. So quickly, you guys, I got another technique to cleaning this. So you're gonna take a credit a credit card sized card. You're gonna take a really thin cloth, aka my boxers, and you're going to wrap it like so. Put a little ice alcohol on here. Like that, just enough to saturate it. Not too much, don't saturate too much actually, you guys. Just make it kind of wet. And we're gonna clean it like so. So you're gonna take the end of the card and kind of rub it back and forth, like that. And that's gonna grab all that gunk in there and clean it. Hopefully, that cleans it a fair amount. And just be gentle, back and forth, up and down, in and out, in and out, in and out. Right, change it a little bit. Kind of get that in there. All right, you guys, so I got, it's been drying, drying a lot, and we're gonna give it a test. So let's put in the batteries. Boom. All right, so moment of truth, you guys. So I put the card in and out a lot of times, and that alcohol rub took no, took a took a, a needle to the pins, and this is like my third time trying. So let's give it a try. Woo! Look at that, you guys. So it works. Sound work. Sound works, awesome. All right, so, this is a guy working. We're gonna now freaking, we're gonna, what we're gonna do next is, so what I thought was an easy fix was actually a lot of fix. I'm gonna put these stickers on here, the marble themed stickers on the Game Boy, and we're gonna have a marble themed Game Boy. So, uh, yeah, let's get it started. So, a quick wash, nothing too crazy, because I'm gonna cover this thing up with, with uh the stickers so just give it a nice little clean all right so what i'm going to do is let's start with the front case first so i got all these cool stickers from aliexpress i'll link the um, the link below and let's uh let's see what we can do with these stickers 
So I'm going to try my best to lay whatever I can correctly. All right, you guys, so 
I got everything ready, set up, and so now I'm just gonna, everything looks really good. I got the screen in there, and uh, yeah, let's just put this thing together now. All right, you guys, so let's put in some batteries and we're almost done. Check it out. This thing is freaking amazing. Push that down a little bit more. I gotta get some, I'm gonna get some glue onto that corner. Look at that. Oh. It goes in and on. there we go. Perfect. You can't even tell there's really a battery cover case in there. So let's get, we got Tetris in here of the Avengers game. And check it out. Dang, that is sick. Look at that. All the buttons work. Start. You can tell the select button works because look at this on the side. This right here. Oh, look at that. Sounds great. Man, this is freaking awesome. See how long it takes me to lose. Yeah. Freaking awesome. So, that is the build. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. This Avengers Endgame Game Boy right here and anybody can do this you know like you can get any decal stickers that you like and just literally go ahead and go ham and freaking just retro make a custom game boy that's freaking yours and check it out freaking awesome so i hope you guys like this build this original game boy avengers endgame slash marvel Game Boy that I made and yeah only two dollars on AliExpress to get the stickers and just got to get everything clean and luckily we were able to fix you know so this one had a um, just the tracers were really rusted over that it wasn't reading the game and I literally had to do a bunch of things but I hope you guys enjoyed it this here Avengers Endgame go check the movie come it's already out in theaters best movie in the world right now three hours goes by so fast and freaking shocks everywhere. You'll be shocked every moment. Action-packed. Love all the characters, you know. Thor. Scarlet. Thanos. Captain America. Spider-Man. The Hulk. Doctor Strange. And that's it for these guys. And, you know, some hidden characters, as you guys can see. Alright you guys, so thank you so much for watching my video on the Game Boy Marvel Edition. 
Um, check out Endgame, like I said. Subscribe, like, comment. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want to have any uh, ideas for, the, for future videos. And um, yeah, enjoyed this build a lot. And this is going to be one of the cool ones. All right, you guys, signing out.